Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony, and this is a Pi. In today's video, we're going to be learning everything about beat and rhythm, and you'll also learn how to apply it in your own productions. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. Let's go! Oh, I didn't see you there. Some would say I was feeling the beat. But what is the beat? The beat is the internal clock of the music. It's like a heartbeat, a constant pulse that does not change. In music, beats are organized into sections, which are called measures, and those are separated by bar lines. There are many ways to organize your beats. The most common way is having four beats per measure. This is called 4-4 or common time. This can also be referred to as the time signature. Here's an example. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. In your DAW, beats are organized on a grid and the measures are outlined. You can see your beats and measures here. The time signature is up at the top left in Ableton Live, but it can be in other places depending on your DAW. Tempo is the speed of a piece of music. Speed is measured in beats per minute or BPM. A metronome or a click track lets you hear the beats on your grid. It's great for recording instruments, vocals, or even finger drumming. If you had a song that had 60 beats per minute, you would hear one beat for every second. In most DAWs, you'll have a tempo map. Use it to set the tempo for different parts of your song. Most DAWs even have a tap tempo function. Use the tap tempo to tap it out, and the DAW will tell you what BPM it is. Now it's time to start learning about rhythm. In rhythm, each note represents a different amount of beats. First is the whole note. It takes up four beats, or one measure. Think of it as one whole pie. Alright, try it in your DAW. In our case, we're using lethal as a synth. That's a whole note taking up one whole measure. All right, let's cut into the pie. <laughs> I'm so eager. If you cut the pie in half, you get a half note taking up half a measure. Let's listen to that and see how it sounds. You know where this is going. I'm gonna keep cutting the pie in half and keep eating it. Cut the half note in half, and then you have one quarter note taking up one beat or one quarter of a measure. So cut that in half again. Let's look closely. You have half of a beat, or an eighth note, which is also eighth of a measure. Cut it one more time, and you'll get the sixteenth note, which is a quarter of a beat, or a sixteenth of a measure. It's possible to keep cutting your pie smaller and smaller, but the most common pieces of pie, I mean, the most common rhythmic notes, are the whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth note. Drop the beat. Oh! Mix and match them in your measures to create some awesome music. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to start with my quarter note, and I'll find a kick drum. Nice, I like that one. Set my grid to quarter notes, and I'll just put in one kick for each quarter note. And we'll have it going for four measures. So next is the eighth note. For the eighth note, I'm going to find a bass sound that I like. Nice, I like that sound. Now I'm going to draw in a bass line in a scale that I know, so I'll choose C minor. Okay, let's listen to that. Cool, so I'll copy it for four measures. After the eighth note is the sixteenth note. 
And for the 16th note, I'll grab a hi-hat sound. We'll change our grid to 16th notes, and I'll just draw them in. Now we have all our 16th note taking up one measure, and I'll just copy that for four measures like the others. All right, I think something's missing, so I'm gonna put a snare in on beats two and four. Okay, so now we have our quarter note, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes done. And I think what I'm gonna do is grab a pad sound for a half note. And just draw in some chords in C minor. Nice, I like that, so I'll just copy that for four measures. Just gonna mix it up a little bit, and our last one, our whole note. And it's gonna take up four beats or one whole bar. There we go. And there you have it, a cool beat using every note that we learned today. So that's it. Comment with what you wanna learn next. We love feedback, so let us know what you liked or didn't about the video. Like and subscribe to catch the latest from Lander. The internet's great because you can watch me over and over again. Practice makes perfect.